We are recording. Hi. Hi. Quick, um, quick update. Lewis, Christina. We are Ascension Dimension. Yes. <laughs> um, so the last video we put out was a quick, well, not quick, it was a nice little um, rendition of one of our family adventures. Uh, we're going on another one um, day after tomorrow. Yes. By the time this comes up, don't know. <laughs> maybe, maybe. <laughs> you might get it before we go. Um, so we're going to England because we're doing Soul School with Lucy Davis. Yes. And um, so I've been doing some of the pre the pre work, um, self analysis, working on yourself, looking at traumas. We've both been doing it. It comes it comes with a whole program. Um, we went to the first Soul School in September. Second one comes with a lot more preparation, um, ready for the event so that we all get the shifts required. But there's been a lot going on in the last couple of weeks leading up to our departure. Really, really um, lot going on. So the January energies have been completely nuts um, coming in for the, for the full moon, but then they're coming in for the new moon. It's just been like test, test, lesson, test, lesson, lesson test, constant. Up until about Saturday, and then it sort of eased off a little bit, I think. What? At which point Celeste got sick? No, that was when she started getting better. Um, yeah, so we've had a few family issues going on this uh, the last couple of weeks. My mum broke her leg and ended up in hospital. My nan ended up in hospital, which kind of sent us off our routine a little bit, didn't it? Yeah, so I've been, I've been really pushing forward as much as I can, because I've I've been, oh, I have been writing stuff down, putting my goals, keeping track of my bits that I've been doing. Um, can't read his handwriting. Though. Can't, it's yeah, like but doctor. but it's it's really good. I'm getting back into it again, and uh, the productivity is going through the roof compared to normal. Um, I wanted to get three demos recorded, three songs recorded this week. And I've pretty much managed to, to get them to sort of demo state. I don't want to, anyone to listen to them right now. <laughs> but I've, I've heard them. I've got them to the point where I can take my laptop and my headphones and start working on them. I've been recording bass guitar today so that because that's something I can't take or I don't want to take with in the car because it's massive. Um, so I've been recording the bass, recorded some video of me recording the bass. Fine. Yeah, yeah. So, so basically, for January, what we've been um, implementing is because we want to change how we live and what we what we want to incorporate in our in our in our lives. We realise that we, routine is key for us, and our day to day, um, what we do is really important, especially with doing the Soul School program. It just implements the the whole necessity of. Um, figuring out what it is that you need to do for yourself and then how to implement that in our family routine. Because we noticed that in the summer, your routine went well out of the window, didn't mm. it? Um, so we've been trying to keep that. But then also a lot of things that happen with like, just that I've got nothing to do with you, but can still sway your, your whole world. Like um, family ending up in hospital and other people's things come and affect you. So We've really been riding that wave over the last couple of weeks of how to still get your things done and make sure that you get your, your routine and everything, keep your routine in check and all your to-dos of what you want to achieve out of the week and still have complete chaos exploding somewhere else if that's what's going on. And a really, really clear lesson was Celeste getting sick. Our daughter's got ill on Thursday... Yeah, Today's today. Today's Monday. So Thursday last week she got ill and um throwing up over your Yeah, she was like it was proper gastro. So she mm. was just she couldn't keep anything in, liquids, nothing. And she's been like that for four days. She I've two days throwing up and then stopped throwing up, but she wasn't actually um she was very weak and very low. And so she slept in our bed, um uh, the whole sleeping arrangements changed, the whole getting up routine changed, but we still managed to get the the workout, the the Qigong, the meditation and all that was still still incorporated but in a slightly different order because obviously now your priorities change. When you're a parent you don't always, you can't always put yourself first because it's just not a, it's not one of those things. When you're a parent your kids come first um, a lot of the time and when they can't do things for themselves you have to make sure that you can 
look after them and still look after your own mental health, which was really, really key for me this time. Because I still managed to do all of my workout and stuff, even though I was getting up a bit later, because I was up all night with her, because she was sleeping with me. So I, I found that really, really interesting. And I think I finally got over that lesson, hurdle, test, whichever way you want to put it. It was very, very uh, interesting. And a lot of the old, old energies and old, um, oh, how do you word it? Things from my past have come up a lot and things how I, personality traits, how I used to handle things have come up and tested my boundaries. And I've got pretty strong, very strong boundaries. Um, but there was a little bit of a weakness in one of them, which has been um, shown quite clearly for me now. And I've, I've managed to put that back mm. into place. So that's so what I've been up to. Lots of tidying up 3D stuff. You've been doing all calling banks and phone calls. Oh. Phone companies. Yeah. Who doesn't hate phone companies? Yeah, phone companies have always been one of those things for me. It's like, <clears> oh, I, I used to let it really trigger me, um, really get very, very angry. And then when Lewis wanted me to change phone companies at, towards the end of last year, it was on our last England trip, actually. He was like, yeah, we need to change and get it cheaper. I was like, well, you do it then. Because I just know what happens. It always goes completely nuts. And I end up, uh, Spanish phone companies are the worst. But this time I've just sort of, I've left the phone call and I called them up today and got them to honour the, the deal that they were supposed to give us that they didn't give us, but they've got it where I just didn't want to fight, but I didn't let it trigger me because the last time the person at the end of the phone got really awful. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> my anger really comes out, but I'm learning to, 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 to pause and breathe before reacting. So really things that are coming up where looking at where's it coming from, what is it showing us about ourselves, how do we move forward through that so it doesn't have to happen again. Um, and yeah, it's, it's, you know, whereas we, we would go through life obliviously before with all these things happening and happening and happening and not getting the lesson, not getting the message. So, you know, I'm, I'm hoping that as these things um, get dealt with and we start to look at the traumas that it's pointing out or whatever lesson it is as we get that they don't need to keep happening again that'd only be nice wouldn't you, it only if you learn everything you're supposed to learn and see everything you want <coughs> to see we are a constant work in progress though so it's, if this one doesn't happen again something else will um, <sighs> we're expanding anyway. and remembering just calling in all the knowledge that we've got from lifetimes or eons it's, uh, it's, it's super interesting so emotions has been like the the main main word of the week around here especially the last few days and it's something i've just been covering um with the children in quite in depth because learning to deal with your emotions is something we don't we don't get taught at school we never got taught about it um and i don't know if, if your parents teach you things like that or not but it's definitely something we should be looking at and learning that it, there's nothing wrong with having an emotional reaction it's just what you do with that and how you let it affect the rest of your day and your life i think mm. it's been really really prominent coming up in the last couple of weeks but anyway, we've got tons of stuff to, to do to prepare so this is just a quick one um i'm not allowed to talk any that's what it means is i'm not allowed to talk anymore yeah no but we we <laughs> We, we want to get back to the more structured chats because we know we've got more of the health stuff to talk about. But this is just a quick, like, you know, we're off for a little bit because we're, we're going to England, we're going to Soul School. I've got some music coming out. Not just one, we've got three songs. Yeah, well, yeah, you know, I mean, I'll produce them as and when in whatever order. I don't know what order I'm going to do them, but we've got Anchoring the Light, which is our sort of summer anthem that we kind of made up, mainly her, throughout the... <laughs> no, no, that's... <laughs> I, I, I channeled it through, but then I think we've all, it's a, it's a family work of art, yeah. that one. <laughs> um, and Broken World and... Blessed Be. Blessed Be. Yeah. So, yeah, three completely, completely, completely different songs. Really, really different songs. Real works. Uh, I'm so proud of him. Work so of proud. hard efforts for me. Yeah. Because uh, you know, letting go of a lot of ego as well, because I haven't written them all completely on my own. Um, yeah. Which is a, a, a first, really, um, to take something like from a from a non non musician, really. Yeah, totally. 
basically um, I've channeled these songs and gone Lewis you need to make a song out of this it's like no <laughs> no I'm not doing that <laughs> but I'm really liking where it's going I'm really liking where it's going um, so yeah watch this space yeah it's really good I've got loads of poems but I just have not got the time to sit and find the time to put them on the on the computer at the moment because I live outside of time um, I like flow state and yeah it's just a really great place to be. So we're going to flow to make some lunch. We're going to flow upstairs to make some lunch and finish off what we're doing and then, and then yeah, get getting self ready and, and packed and um, house it is organised and everything. So that's that's really nice because uh, my elderly grandmother lives with us and she can't be left on her own at the moment for fear of falling over. Yeah. So that's um, that's been a. Yeah, it's, it's it's in it's been a really really interesting dynamic coming into twenty twenty three, and having made the decisions that we've made, wanting to move forward, and then there's like it's like a few curveballs, but yeah, we're managing them, and it's not going to stop us from doing what we want to do, mm -hmm. or living the life we want to live. Yeah, on that note, yeah, let's wrap it up, and we'll see you in the next one. Um, let us know if you enjoyed our hiking. There's not many people see our videos at the yeah. moment, but, but if you do, we've got you... more hiking videos and stuff coming out because we have got loads of footage from the stuff that we do do, and we do hike every week. And that's another thing that I wanted to talk about this week. We didn't get our hike this week because our little girl was ill. So I was miserable yesterday. Oh, him and oh, all three of us. We were all miserable. <sighs> but we're going to do something really cool instead when we get to England. I think we're going to get a really cool um, hike on when we get there. Yes. Not a mountain one though, because I don't think there's a lot of mountains where we go. Anyway, that's interesting. I have woolly hats made for everyone, so we're going to be good. All right. Yeah. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.